Dear judges, teachers, and final researchers, hello. It's a great honor to participate in the 2020 Rapid Innovation Conference in Consumer Technology. My topic is Application of Improved PSO Algorithm in Power Grid for Diagnosis. My name is Sun Yi from Heilongjiang University of Science and Technology. My tutor is Associate Professor Bian Li. Let's look at the Fixture 1 Smart Grid. As it's shown in the Fixture 1, the Smart Grid involves various links such as power supply, power transmission, and power consumption. The whole business systems use the sensors distributed in the above links to collect data of grid operation and transmit the data to the com computer. The model can be basically divided into front center Analysis can true. It is very necessary to study how to use intelligent algorithm to diagnose faults quickly after they occurred. Picture 2, substation monitoring and picture 3, substation integrated automation systems. The actual power grid is very complex, so it is necessary to use intelligent algorithm for rapid fault diagnosis which can not only improve the user experience but also facilitate maintenance electrician to maintain the fault errors of the power grid. The dictionary it says and there are four parts diagnosis modeling, improved particle swarm optimization analysis and the conclusions. Part one diagnosis modeling. Diagnosis modeling, the relationship between relay protection action and the influence of its protection state on the final result are considered. The new objective function obtained by introducing the weight factor is as follows. Well, ES is the real warning state obtained after a fault occurrence. The warning state is uh, obtained based on the variable S, therefore the fault diagnosis of the power grid is transformed into a problem of the maximizing, maximizing the value of the ES. In this expression, M is the mean protection, NC is the circuit breakers, P is the near backup protection, and D is the far backup protection. R represents the number of protections and C represents the number of circuit breakers increased C uh, indicates expected states in the network. The actual state depends on the mean protection nearby. Near standby protection is determined by mean protection and the protection of different components. The remote backup protection is determined by the corresponding near backup protection. The rules for the value of protection status are as follows. The confirmation action is expressed as 1 and no action is expressed as 0. Part 2. Improved particle swarm optimization. Particle swarm optimization. The basic particle swarm optimization includes the process of initial population congruity Business value finding individual and the population and updating continuously through our updating speed and position. Advantages is in the early iteration, the co convergence speed is especially fast. Its disadvantage is the poor local search capability. The weighted PSO, WPSO, MES, the shortcomings of the poor local search ability and the slow convergence speed. Kennedy proposed a particle swarm algorithm with initial weight. Initial weight is added to the vector city formula. This is the formula. It was observed from the, the performance of the WPSO algorithm that a large omega corresponds to a strong global search ability of the PSO algorithm, whereas a small omega led to a strong local search ability. To add up the in, in, initial weight, the linear decreasing weight PSO LDWPSO proposed by Xi, it changes the initial weight linearly, shown by the following equation. The 
linear change of LDWPSO weight improves the performance of particle swarm algorithm, but this strategy is not enough for non-linear and highly complex ultra search processes. Therefore, a similar improvement initial weight method is proposed below to adapt to the search process. The following is a description of similar improvements in initial weight. First, the concept of similar is introduced where Tig is the distance between I and J particles and Dmos is the maximum Mom distance between the particles present in the search space, while Dig is zero, Sig is one. The greater the similarity, and when Dig is the maximum, Sig is zero. Let J to be the G best. When Sig is zero is one, the i particle is closed to the best particle in the current group. Therefore, the search for the particles in the next eight iterations should be limited. To a small range, the value of omega in the next iteration should be omega minimum. Omega is updated based on the similarity as follows. Dynamic weight adjustment based on similarity is it can adapt to various stages of optimization, overcoming the shortcomings of changing traditional particle swarm optimization algorithms such as inappropriate weight and poor searching ability. Part 3 Analysis and the following is a test system including 28 components, 40 circuit breakers, 36 mean protections, and 24 near backup protections, 24 far backup protections. The selected fault situation is that transmission line 1, line 2, and buses 1, buses 2 fail in the same time. This is the Alarm signal analysis. The dispatching center received relevant alarm signals as this. Force error identification. According to the alarm information, the force error is identified. Using the shaping information of the circuit breaker, the suspensions and the force parts are buses 1, buses 2, and line 1, line 2, given by S equal to S1 to S4. Actual state vector of switching value. The nine breakers involved in the fault errors are CB4 to CB12. There are 14 selected protections, six mean protections, and four near backup protections, and four far backup protections. Based on this knowledge, the alarm received by the dispatching center is determined as follows. Expected state vector of switching value. The expected state of main protection is given as this. Whereas the expected state of near backup protection is as follows. The expected state of remote backup protection is given as this. Therefore, the expected state sensing SR of the circuit breaker is only related to the element state S. Determination of mathematical model. Using the test system for diagnosis model given in the previous subsection, the objective function can be defined as follows. Substituting the expected state R sensing of the protector and circuit breaker is for the following expression of the objective function. After simplify, simplification, the above equation is a simulation model of the zero one integral programming program of four diagnosis described previously is established in MATLAB. The GA is an optimization analysis method commonly used in distribution network for diagnosis. First, we change the objective function such as the optimization program becomes a maximizing problem in below equation. And u is equal to 15, 50. 
the parameters of the GA are as follows. The simulation results are shown in the factory 3. The algorithm converges, converges to the optimal situation as to equal to 1111, which represents all fourths in of the four elements, basis 1, basis 2, line 1, and line 2. Finally, the stable situation is reached in above 25 generations. The PSO algorithm is used to solve the above fourth diagnosis problem. The parameters of the PSO algorithm are set as follows. The simulation results use MATLAB are shown in Figure 4. The global optimal situation solution S equal to G best 1111 corresponds to faults in components basis 1, basis 2, line 1, and line 2, which is the correct diagnosis. The mean value of the population stab stabilized after 15 iterations. The initial weight of the PSO algorithm is a fixed value, but some improvements in convergence speed compared to the GA can be observed. The parameters of the improved PSO algorithm are set as follows. And the improved PSO algorithm uses the similarity value between the ice particle and the option optimal particles g best in the current group during the calculation process to non-linearly select to the initial weight. The larger weight value is selected to 0 to 4 times in the initial iteration and correspondingly, the improved algorithm can carry out a quick global search when the algorithm is in the victory of the optimal situation. The weight is chosen as omega maxi of fine search. Compared with the results of the PSO algorithm in picture 4, both algorithms obtain the Opti optimal solution in the first iteration, but the results with the improved algorithm stabilized after only seven iterations, which shows the improvements in convergence speed. This is the three. The GA can get the correct fourth diagnosis result, but it can easily fall into locally optimum situations, solutions, thus the GA need to be improved. The PSO algorithm is simpler than GA and the accuracy of the result is higher. Although the PSO algorithm can reach the optimal solution in the first iteration, the solution becomes stable in the 15 generations. In the improved PSO algorithm, after several trials, we observed that on average, the result with the improved PSO algorithm stabled in the 7th to 8th generation. This shows that the convergence of the improved PSO algorithm is better than the convergence speed of the first two algorithms. The improved PSO algorithms increase the optimization speed and the efficiency of the traditional PSO algorithm. Part 4 Conclusions the method of using similarity to improve the weight of particle swarm optimization algorithm to realize fast and accurate diagnosis of power grade faults. The improved algorithm can be used for personal power monitoring through application programs. It can be used for regular users and can quickly diagnose line faults. Part 5 Questions can you elaborate on the potential of using AI and deep learning to predict power grade faults? First of all, the difficulties of current power grade fault technology are as follows. Expert system is transplanted to computer manually. It is difficult to establish 
a complete knowledge base and it must be updated regularly according to the actual situation. The training of the base network is MP hard, which becomes very difficult when dealing with complex problems when dealing with uncertain and incomplete information. The fault tolerance of various diagnostic methods is poor. The changes of power grid operation mode and the network topology structure have obvious influence on for diagnosis results. Particle research is not enough. Distribution network is complex. Manual fault diagnosis is difficult. Data volume is large, speed is slow, and error rate is high. Secondly, the commonly used artificial intelligence algorithm includes genetic algorithm, simulated annealing algorithm, ant cloning algorithm, and particle swarm algorithm. The method of applying op op optimization technology to power grid for diagnosis is to consider the action relationship between fault components, protectors, and circuit breakers. The fault diagnosis method based on optimization technology has a strict maximological basis and theoretical basis and can give multiple local and global optimal diag diagnosis results under the condition of the Incomplete diagnosis information in complex faults. Intelligent algorithm can effectively identify fault components. The calculation process is simple and easy to implement with strong scalability and meet the requirements of the grid for diagnosis for accurate and real time. Using artificial intelligence algorithm can process a large number of alarm signals and make analysis and decision in the short, shortest time and deal with the problem of missing information very well. Finally, intelligent method can simulate, extend, and expand human intelligent behaviors, making up for the deficiencies of mathematical model diagnosis methods and opening up new ways of the field of power grid for diagnosis. Good diagnosis strategies are of great significance for short, shortening fault time and preventing accidents from expanding through artificial intelligence and in-depth learning to predict the power grid for diagnosis can be carried out more quickly and accurately. Thank you for your listening, that's all.